Night Visitor Excerpt The Night Visitor is a creepy story about a young boy who hears an ominous scratching sound as he lies in bed at night. His parents tell him not to worry about it, but the boy is terrified by the unexplained sounds. There was a young boy who lived with his parents in a small run-down apartment. They lived in a bad part of the city and there was a lot of crime in the area. Their apartment was on the ground floor of the building and it was badly in need of repair. Some of the windows were cracked and broken and the doors never locked properly. The boy often had problems sleeping because he could hear all of the noise from the street outside. He begged his parents to fix the windows and the locks on the doors, but they told him they couldn't afford it. Both of his parents had to work long hours just to make ends meet. One night, as the boy lay sleeping peacefully in his room, he was suddenly awakened by a strange scratching noise. Sitting up in bed, he strained his ears to listen, but he couldn't figure out where it was coming from. The bedroom was almost pitch black and the blinds were drawn, shutting out the glare of a streetlight outside. The boy got out of bed and made his way down the darkened hallway to his parents' room. Mom, he whispered, Mom, there's a weird sound in my room. His mother woke up and groaned. It's probably just a tree branch tapping against your window, she said. But there are no trees near my window, replied the boy. Then it's probably just rats in the walls, his mother mumbled. Leave me alone, I'm trying to sleep. The boy reluctantly went back to his room, but he was still nervous and afraid. He got into bed, closed his eyes and tried his best to relax. Just as he was about to fall asleep, he heard the scratching sounds again. This time, they were louder, but he still couldn't tell where they were coming from. He tried to ignore them, but it was impossible to sleep. Suddenly, he felt a sharp pain in his back. He jumped out of bed and cried out loud. It felt as if he'd been bitten in the small of his back by some kind of insect. He ran into his parents' room. Dad, he whispered, Dad, something bit me. His father rubbed his eyes and rolled out of bed. He examined his son's back and found a small puncture mark. There were one or two drops of blood seeping out of the wound. It doesn't look like an insect bite, said his dad. Then what is it? Asked the boy. The father didn't reply. Instead, he went to the boy's bedroom and his son followed close behind. He switched on the light and inspected the bed. There was a small hole in the sheet and some of the stuffing from the mattress was coming out. I know what happened, said his father. One of the springs in the mattress must have poked through. His dad flipped the mattress over and looked underneath. What he found filled him with shock and horror. There was a long knife sticking out of the bottom of the mattress. At the bottom of the bed, they found mud and dirt on the carpet. The bedroom window was unlocked and outside, there were fresh footprints in the muddy grass. During the night, someone had slipped into the boy's room through the unlocked window and lay in wait under his bed. The mysterious scratching sound he had heard was someone lying under his bed, stabbing through the mattress with a knife, trying to kill him.